Although um, some sectors were fairly successful at responding to the most recent drought, in the future we may have longer or more severe droughts, and some of the coping strategies that are currently being pursued will not be sustainable in a longer term. The Pacific Institute is releasing a new report on the impacts of the 2007 to 2009 drought in California. Um, releasing it in 2011 allows us to look back at some of the reports and studies that have been done uh, during the drought and some of the new information and data that has come out since the drought that allows us to synthesize this information and provide uh, a more complete picture of the, the impacts on different sectors of the economy and the environment. We hope that this will help inform future planning and management um, as we look back and see how did we respond, what strategies were sustainable in the long term, what strategies do we need to work on to make ourselves more resilient um, to future droughts and potentially more, more severe and longer droughts. By looking at the most recent data from the U.S. Department of Agriculture and individual county crop reports, uh, we were able to find the total agricultural production value over the drought years. And somewhat surprisingly, the production value was the third highest on record in the last year of the drought, 2009. It was only surpassed by the two other drought years, 2007-2008. What this indicates is that um, although there were changes to the agricultural sector in terms of land being fallowed and different kinds of crops being grown, overall the agricultural sector remained relatively high earning. The drought coincided with the foreclosure crisis and also a global recession, so it's very difficult to disaggregate uh, which impacts were just due to the drought from all of the other forces at play. What we do know is that during the drought period, unemployment rose statewide, in particular in the Central Valley. By looking more closely at U.S. Census data and California Employment Development Department data, we're able to determine that in many cases the agriculture sector remained robust as a proportion of total jobs. Agricultural jobs remained stable and in some cases they increased. Statewide, agricultural jobs increased by about 2% from 2003 to 2009, whereas the construction industry, for example, saw a reduction in about, um, of about 44% of its jobs. The drought brought a lot of attention to the southern San Joaquin Valley, where there has been chronic and severe poverty at, at high levels for many years. While the state average poverty rate is around 13%, in the southern San Joaquin Valley it's closer to 20%, and this number has remained high both in wet and dry years. And the environmental indicators show negative impacts in terms of the closure of the salmon fishery on the west coast in both 2008 and 2009, um, the highest levels of salinity in the Sacramento and San Joaquin Bay Delta on record um, in 2008, and um, decreases in the amount of water flow for wildlife and refuges um, throughout the state during the drought period. These impacts on the environment are typically not included in assessments of drought. During the drought, we had reduced ability to produce hydropower because we had lower stream flows. California ratepayers had to pay an additional $1.7 billion for natural gas produced energy rather than hydropower over the drought years. In addition, about 13 million additional tons of carbon dioxide were emitted by using natural gas sources rather than hydropower. It's useful to look at the long-term implications of current coping strategies. And one of the conclusions of this report is although we've been fairly successful in avoiding some of the most severe impacts of the most recent drought, some of the strategies that we've employed may not be sustainable in the long term. For instance, groundwater pumping out of basins that are already severely overdrafted. And so drought is something that Californians have always dealt with and will continue to deal with. And we think it's very important to look at how we respond to droughts, where we're still vulnerable in terms of thinking about where we're going and how do we maintain our environment and our economy in California in the future.